Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Bell & Howell Ultra Compact 35, according to the little pamphlet that comes with it. It's better known as the Bell & Howell 28mm. Some people love it as an alternative to uh, Holgas and Dianas and things like that, where you pay a premium price for a cheap plastic camera. These were often uh, giveaways, promotions, something you could pick up at the drugstore if you're on vacation and your camera broke or you forgot it. Uh, it has a 28 millimeter fixed focus plastic lens. I haven't uh, torn it apart yet to uh, do precise measurements, but it seems to be about f8, uh, maybe a little bit smaller aperture, maybe f11, something like that. The reason I decided to shoot with this one is this built-in lens cover. I figured it was a great candidate to turn into a pinhole camera. Uh, this came out probably mid 90s. The information's a bit sparse. There's not a date that I've found or a serial number you can look up or anything like that. Uh, very basic controls. Open the door, you rewind, you rewind enable, and the shutter. That's it. Interestingly, there is an interlock on the lens cover, so the shutter won't actuate uh, with the shutter closed. There actually is a functioning film counter, so that is about it. Um, I shot a roll of uh, black and white 100 speed film. It's the Lomo Earl Grey, uh, which is nice because the Earl Grey doesn't have DX encoding. This thing doesn't take a battery, so obviously it's not going to read DX encoding. So I'll post some pictures, and I'll see you then.